Hello from Russia. I'm Russian bear, and today I'll tell you uh, how to clean, how to clear buckwheat. All Russians we eat buckwheat a lot. I eat full plate of buckwheat every day with the milk. So you boil it and you put it. It's the most tastiest uh, food for Russians, buckwheat. I know that uh, people in other countries, some, uh, they think that this is food for birds, like parrots. <laughs> but actually, Russians uh, love buckwheat a lot, and it's kind of our favorite traditional thing. So, but before you cook it, you need to clean it, because in buckwheat you could have small stones, sometimes it's very rare, like uh, once per 100,000 packages you could have small uh, stone but still if it could crush your teeth so better to clean also some uh, non-eatable parts you could see even them uh, here let me show it here yeah, this one you see this is stem stable uh, st stem this small so you, you should remove it how to clean buckwheat this is sony russian head how to clean buckwheat you put some buckwheat on the plate like this on the white plate you need white plate then you make it like this and you immediately you, we see you, we see this this so you you immediately see all uh, rubbish so you need to remove all black things or, uh, for example, this one, also, you see, this one, yeah, this one is uh, kind of broken. And you could put it on the table, then you put it like, okay, this is cleared. And you go another time. Better, of course, to have a big plate, but I am at Dacha right now my Russian dacha in wooden house uh, that's why I have only uh, this small a plate better to have bigger and again we see this um, wood thing wooden thing actually there is a life hack there is a life hack so let me demonstrate it to you I am taking these uh, three uh, wooden things and I put it back to yeah let, let you let you see so how it's different Wood, wooden things from real buckwheat you see buckwheat uh, it's these things so this you can you can eat this you shouldn't eat it's very uh, bad taste things so yeah i put everything here small life hack actually these things these wooden things they uh, go up in the water so you could take your buckwheat uh, put it in the water, let me take some water just to show it to you. Okay, here I put this buckwheat to the water, and the thing is that these wooden things they do not uh, go. Uh, down you see and it's very easy to get it you see well, I okay I, I got them oh I, I found one more you see I found one more so actually what we are doing right now we are not looking for these things so when you put your uh, buckwheat on the plate like this when you put your buckwheat on the plate you looking for stones actually so what we are looking right now we're looking for stones uh, because we do not want to break our teeth so stones they are grayish uh, blackish so if there is no stones it's all right yeah you see and okay if you found some uh, of the stem you could also remove it so if you found stone for example, this one this small thing one second 
it's not a stone it's different di different um it's not a stone but it's better to remove it too so it's just random seed but actually we're looking for stones so if there is no stone even if there are some these wooden things you could uh take them away by putting water so the most important thing is to watch for stones but the thing is that uh, there are different types of buckwheat this is very cheap buckwheat and it's it's no name you could say it's no name buckwheat that's why i'm looking for stones here but uh you could buy very good buckwheat like premium and there in premium buckwheat they have technology to, to remove stones automatically and uh, you are safe to eat without all this uh, hustle you are safe to eat uh, buckwheat easy peasy if you buy uh, good buckwheat but this is no name buckwheat that's why i'm looking for stones but any buckwheat even wheat buckwheat has uh, this wood so you should always, before you put buckwheat to the cooking pan, uh, not to pan, to the cooking pot, uh, if you would, you should look in the water, and when you when you have it in the water, you also want to like uh, mix it like this. So uh, all, you see, I found another one by the way. <laughs> yeah, th th this is very cheap buckwheat. That's why. That's why, it, and another one. You see. In small amount of buckwheat, I found so much rubbish. Because th this is very cheap buckwheat. Uh, that's why it has a lot of rubbish. So how I'm doing it regularly? Let me show it to you. Okay, th this is safe. This is safe too. How I'm doing it? I'm taking a spoon. Russian traditional spoon. You could take any, and uh, what I'm doing, I'm like mixing it like this, and immediately this is very very dirty buckwheat, very dirty buckwheat. Um, anyway, you put everything which is good will draw, so you need to make it draw, and bet you oh I found one, and bet you uh, could see will go up so and another one i found you see it's very very <laughs> it's very cheap buckwheat that's why it has a lot of rubbish um okay this is looks safe so i'm you see i'm mixing made several attempts to mix it it looks safe also it's better to remove this water in very cheap buckwheat you should uh, remove water like once at least but in buckwheat which i regularly eat when i am in town in moscow uh, expensive buckwheat uh, you do not need to remove water actually this water also okay it's it's not harm you it will just be uh, more tastier if you have uh, fresh water that's it it's how you prepare your buckwheat for eating and in the next video i'll show you how to actually cook it so hope you hope to see you in my next video have a good day bye bye love from russia that's